同学们，我们一起来做几道数学题。sin 一百零五度 ，sin 一百零五度，一百零五度的正弦，我们怎么能算出来呢？因为，呃，我们一般知道几个特殊的角，三十度、四十五度、六十度，对不对？三十、四十五度、六十度，然后九十度什么的，呃，一百零五度。怎么给它画过呢？可以把一百零五看成是，你可以这样看，等于 sin 四十五度加六十度，对不对？四十五度加六十度，我没有变，一百零五就是等于四十五加四加六十，这样我们就可以用正弦的角和的定理 ，sin a plus b 等于，我们先写一下 sin。Alpha plus beta equal to sine alpha cosine beta 加 sine beta cosine alpha. OK, 四十五度写下来先 Sine 四十五度等于二分之根号二。那么 cosine 四十五度也是等于。cosine 四十五度，还还是写下来吧，等于二分之根号二。嗯 ，OK， and sine sixty degree， sin sinus sinus cosinus， 嗯 ，60 degree 是嗯，哈辛的托。Uh, sur de no, I don't know how to say it in French. Cosine, 六十度 equal to half. So with these values written down, it will be easier for us to figure out. <coughs> So now we need to plug in equal to sine forty five cosine sixty plus sine sixty cosine forty five equal to root two over two cosine sixty half plus. So root three over two times root two over two equal to four root two plus root six, and that is it. Okay, another question. This is question number one. Question number two. Cosine. Cosine. Pi over twelve. So <clears throat> for this pi over twelve, pi equal to one hundred eighty degree, right? Pi one hundred eighty divided by twelve equal to fifteen degree. So it's a cosine fifteen degree. Fifteen degree we can do.、Um, We can do sixty minus forty-five. So, cosine. I will write fifteen degree equal to cosine sixty degree minus forty-five degree. Right. So, <clears throat> equal to. Now we use cosine law of cosine. Cosine alpha minus beta. Equal to cosine alpha cosine beta plus sine alpha sine beta. Okay, so we need to write it down. Cosine sixty. We already have this, so we do not need to cosine sixty degree, cosine forty five degree plus sine. Sixty 
degree sine 45 degree so cosine 60 degree half <coughs> and cosine 45 degree is uh, root 2 over 2 plus uh -huh. sine root 3 over 2 times root 2 over 2 equal to <coughs> 4 root 2 plus root 6. Oh, oh. <coughs> this and this is the same. So y is the same. So sine 100 uh, 105 degree let's draw um, a unit circle 90 degree and 90 over 15 so sine is the y value so it's here right so at this point so this is sine sine is is uh, y value so this one okay this is a sign the orange is a sign um, sign 105 degree okay now we see cosine 15 degree 15 is here Cosine 15, cosine is the x value, is this. So make sense. This one equal to this one. Good. So sometimes when you cannot solve the problem, try to see, uh, try to draw a diagram. And it can help you to understand the problem better. Do I make any sense? Okay, question number seven. Okay. <coughs> question number three. Sign pi over 18. Cosine 5 pi over 18 plus cosine pi over 18 sine 5 pi over 18. Oh, so we can take this as alpha, sine alpha, this one as beta, sine alpha, cosine beta, cosine alpha sine beta and in the middle this is addition so this one is sine alpha plus beta we know the rule we have this rule written right here right now in front of us So, equal to sine pi over 18 plus 5 pi over 18 equal to sine 6 pi over 18 equal to sine pi over 3. Pi over 3 is 60 degree, sine 60 degree equal to root 3 over 2, and that is it. Okay, question number 4. Establish the identity, so it means children. Cosine pi over 2 plus theta equal to negative sine theta. So on the left side, there is this looks complicated. On the right side, it's a simple uh, I, um, 
a simple figure. We just need to pull from left side, bing, 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 this way, that way, bing, 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 until we get to uh, um, a result that is equal to the right. So from left, left, what do we do? We see this one, we can use the cosine law. Cosine alpha plus beta equal to cosine alpha cosine beta minus sine alpha sine beta. Okay, we can use this rule. And so we need to know these two figures. Cosine um, pi over 2 equal to 0. Sine pi over 2 equal to 1. So we can plug it in. So cosine pi over 2 plus theta equal to cosine pi over 2 cosine theta uh, minus sine pi over 2 sine theta. So cosine pi over 2 is 0 times cosine theta minus sine. Sine uh, pi over 2 is 1 minus 1 times sine theta. 0 cross out equal to negative sine theta. Oh, this is the same as here. So the identity established. Thank you very, very, very much. Question number five. Question number five still established identity. Cosine alpha minus beta over sine alpha cosine beta equal to cotangent alpha plus tangent beta. So for this, the left side looks complicated. So we will first open up the left side. Okay, so we will need to use the cosine law. Cosine alpha minus beta equal to cosine alpha cosine beta plus sine alpha sine beta. Okay, so we can open up the left becomes left cosine alpha minus beta sine alpha cosine beta equal to cosine alpha cosine beta plus sine alpha sine beta over sine alpha cosine beta. Okay, this I can already see, but we will honestly write it down because it is the same denominator and the, <coughs> and the numerator, fen mu shi yang, the fen zi, the numerator, we can uh, write it separately. So the first one is cosine alpha cosine beta and over sine alpha cosine beta plus copy the first one uh, the second one sine alpha sine beta over sine alpha cosine beta so for the first um, first item cosine beta cosine beta we can cross cancel and for the second one sine alpha sine alpha we can cancel out so become cosine alpha over sine alpha plus sine beta cosine beta so cosine alpha okay over cosine over sine alpha equal to equal to cotangent alpha sine beta over cosine beta equal to tangent beta so on the left side we 
proof and we logically uh, move step by step we get to this result on the right side which it is so the that so the identity established so we Okay, now we have to to find the value uh, given what is given given cosine alpha equal to half and four r pi xiao yu alpha xiao yu zero sine beta equal to one over three zero xiao yu beta xiao yu r fen zhi pi okay so we need to figure out where the angles are alpha and this one is in which um which quadrant is in the fourth quadrant fourth fourth quadrant so alpha we can draw an angle this is the fourth quadrant cosine cosine is x value right x value is here is one here is two so this one is what this one we can figure out is root three over two. Oh no 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 one two and this one is root three right one plus three equal to four okay so here is alpha so we know sine and this is negative because it's below negative so sine alpha equal to negative root 3 over 2 cosine alpha equal to half okay now we draw a beta beta is in the first quarter first quarter and uh, beta is the y value y is 1 and 1 3 so what is this this one sine sine is y so here is the x value x value is root 8 right 1 plus 8 equal to 9 okay so sine beta equal to 1 over 3 cosine beta equal to root 8 over 3 so now we need to figure out sine alpha plus beta equal to sine alpha cosine beta plus sine beta cosine alpha equal to sine alpha negative root 3 over 2 times cosine beta cosine beta root 8 over 3 plus sine beta 1 over 3 cosine alpha equal to 6 negative root 24 plus 6 1 so 6 1 minus root 24 that is the result.